Oh boy, content update! Woo! Deimos Arcana is out. And there's a lot of stuff to go through. I'm gonna make separate videos for a couple of things, going more in-depth about them to teach about that. But this is just gonna be, at first, like a, a general rundown, right? Basically just, what is new, uh, what can you do now that you couldn't do before? Uh, we'll just start out by saying that this new skin for Gara is the raddest, coolest, flyest thing ever. Um, you can find that right here in the market. Shabams, the Gara Kaleida skin, and hands down, like this is one of the, this is one of the best designed deluxe skins I have ever seen. It makes Gara look the best, number one, and the best, the hottest. There's like no way to go wrong with this skin. It doesn't matter how you sort of color her or put on details or decorations, or whatever. It's gonna look amazing. She's even got these uh, glass wings. It's a toggle. You can put them on or off, but why would you ever take them off? They look fantastic. And this is amazing. I love it. I'm gonna become a Gara main now just because I wanna play with her when she looks like this because she looks goddamn fantastic. So, hey, uh, check that out. Also, you might not uh, have noticed, but if you see, uh, the cockpit looks different, right? They've swapped stuff around. They've changed the layout. It's just, it's got more like big wide open space now. It, it feels more spacious. Uh, yeah, so they just sort of tweaked it a little bit, changed what it looks like. Then uh, everyone here uh, has probably gotten one of these in their inbox. Yeah, the, the uh, mastery slates. So this is going to be a thing from now on, that you get one of these slates whenever you increase in mastery rank. Uh, there might be one or two of you who don't know what this is. These are orbiter decorations. I've just put up one for now to, to show it off. It's up there. What you do is you go to your equipment and the orbiter section. You can decorate. You can place decorations. And this is where you have like all of your slates. So you can just do whatever you want with them and put them in a nice spot in your orbiter if you so want to. Now, next up, a bunch of new weapons. Let's check where we can get those. First of all, a couple of the new weapons. You want to go to your dojo. If you're part of a clan, you have a dojo. If you aren't part of a clan, hey, maybe you should build a dojo. <laughs> Just saying. There's a lot of stuff you can get from your dojos. A lot of weapons. A lot of warframes. You want to go to your... Bio lab, because the bio lab is the uh, infested lab for infested research in your dojo, and it's got some new stuff now that wasn't here before. It's got the bubonico, the the catabolist, cat catabolist, catabolist, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you have to research some other stuff before you can research these. We'll give some more clan affinity. You need to research the embolist. And the Parasist. But yeah, the Bubonico is the infested arm cannon. And the the Catabolist is a uh, a secondary weapon. So we're going to start by crafting the Bubonico because, hey, I want to get that. Once you've contributed everything and it starts ticking, it will take three days before this research is done. Three days, god damn it. Man, I wish I was one of them Warframe content creators who just get stuff just on day one when there's a new content update. Now I have to wait three days before I can get one of these and then I have to level it up and then I can make content about it. Oh well, them's the breaks. Let's get cracking on all of this. Now that's just two of the new weapons. For the rest of them, we have to make a pit stop. In Deimos. So let's just jump right into Necrolisk. Here we go. Alley -oop. Boom. I'm gonna get some new stuff. So we gotta visit a couple of different vendors here because there's some new stuff that we can get. So Grandmother has a new thing now. It's called Mend the Family. So this is a new way of getting uh, family tokens. If you so choose, uh, you can buy 
uh, these different sort of like, oh, the void infused resin, Lavos's drought, tissue mending bomb, whatevs. Um, ah, yeah, the new resource. Can't get that one yet. Now, as you can see, you can. This one, you can pay a bunch of resources and you'll get four mother tokens, uh, sun tokens, etc. Uh, it's a bit overpriced. It's it's a bit overpriced, I'm gonna say. Uh, if anything, hunt for like sun tokens because sun tokens are a bit iffy to get otherwise. But as you can see, like it takes a lot of resources. So only do this if you feel like you have been like gathering a ton of different Deimos resources and you just, you have so much you don't know what to do with it. Uh, but other than that, I would just hunt for tokens the regular way. This is sort of a backup thing, just but but it's it's costly. It's it's pricey if you're gonna get him this way. Just so you know. Well. Next up we have Sun, and there are just it's there's a couple of more like critters out in Deimos that you can hunt now. Uh, you can see here from browsing his wares that he has a new Echo Lure for something called an Andazoa. Okay, it looks bug-like. Yeah, sure. Let's let's get some of those. Uh, and some some pheromone glands, so we can hunt some rare subspecies. Yeah, and you can also check um, from like his uh, special where he sells some stuff. There's also something called a a hey friend, round up some infested nec for the ingested if you wouldn't mind. Nexifera. Myself, but Nexifera. Physically inconvenient. A Nexifera. So so um. Like any good antibody. Bye for now. I haven't done any uh, hunting with those yet, so I don't know exactly, you know, exact what they look like. I'm just saying, there's new stuff to hunt. A huge one is good old father, because this is where we get the new infested kit guns. Yeah! So, we got the vermi splicer, and it can be just like with... Uh, uh, kit guns in Fortuna, uh, as as they work right now, uh, they can be both uh, primary and secondary weapons depending on how you mix and match the parts. So as it would appear, you have uh, two different uh, kit guns. Uh, the things that you get mastery for, the sort of like just uh, base weapons, um, the spore laser and the vermi splicer. Then you have two different grips, depending on which one you use, it's going to be either a primary weapon or a secondary weapon. And then you have four different uh, loaders. So the, that's how you sort of tweak them. If you wanted to have more crit chance, uh, more status chance, um, reload speed, uh, stuff like that, you can tweak them. But, but it's pretty straightforward. So we're, ju we're just gonna get, you know, we're gonna get ourselves some verm splicers and some spore lasers. Now, keep in mind, uh, if you're just doing this for mastery rank, uh, you don't have to build the verm splicer as both a primary weapon and a secondary weapon uh, because you can only get mastery points for it once. Um, so it's enough to just build one of them and just decide what you, what you want it to be basically. And then, of course, we come to the most important one. Lloyd. So let's check what's new, shall we? Greetings. I am prepared to assist you, should you be worthy. Forgive me, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> now, there's some cool stuff here. Um, obviously, you know, uh, this is... People already knew about this. There, you can buy some of the Necromech mods. That's great. Uh, but here, there is a new Necromech, the Bone Widow Necromech. It requires the same uh, parts as the Void Rig. You know, a casing, an engine, a capsule, and a pod. And you can buy them here. So, requires the same component parts as the Void Rig parts does. The Void Rig casing. It requires a uh, damaged Necromech casing. The Bone Widow casing also requires a damaged Necromic casing. Same with the engine, the capsule, and the weapon pod. So the way you get these is by going into isolation vaults and fighting against Necromechs. Um, as you can see, you can have some, some uh, weird RNG rolls. 
I have seven casings, zero engines, two pods, nine weapon pods. So, you know, um, they have made these tradable. You can sell and buy them between players. So it shouldn't be too hard uh, to get a hold of all four parts so that you can build your Bone Widow if you want a second Necromech. Uh, just like with the Voidrig Necromech, if you build the Bone Widow, it will come with a Mausolon arch gun included. And the Mausolon is an, an absolute fantastic weapon. It's a beast. So definitely, you know, just that by itself means it's worth it to get a Necromech if you don't already have one. There is also a new uh, weapon for this. It is a uh, grenade launcher called the Morga. Um, this is for the Necromex, but it's also an arch gun. So if you have, like, you know, uh, an arch gun deployer, uh, you can use this in the open worlds, which is neat. It There is a Lloyd Sentinel skin. You can make your Helios or your carrier or whatever look like Lloyd. That's fantastic. And that's... Yeah, you got all the details for it, you know, just like armor for your for your companion. I love it. Uh, there is a new Ayatan sculpture for decoration. Look at this. Goddamn, it costs 50,000 <laughs> Necroloid standing, but it looks amazing. So if you want to decorate your orbiter with this new Ayatan sculpture, uh, you should. Because, damn, that's a centerpiece if I ever saw one. Um, but you know, if you just collect some sanding, we'll be fine. I am sorry we were not able to arrive at a satisfactory arrangement. You collect Orokin matrices for standing. Uh, that's also isolation vaults. So that's how you do it. You just play isolation vaults. Run isolation vaults, run isolation vaults. Get the new stuff. Perhaps we can make a trade. Indeed, we're getting all the new stuff. So, with maxed out standing, you're able to purchase, you know, a, a bunch of stuff. I had to buy some mods as well that I didn't have. Uh, that's another 50,000 standing. Uh, without that, I would have been able to get the uh, Kitha sculpture as well. Uh, and then the Lloyd parts is 30 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, so that's another 60,000. So, you you need about one th like what 130,000 um, Necroloid standing to buy all of the new stuff in I one go. Now there's a very important thing to note here and that is uh, yes, there, are bounties, if you have the interest. there are more bounties. There are more bounties, mother. Uh, so here you can see the, the typical thing, the isolation vault. Um, it just shows you the rewards for the normal isolation vault which is the Eurokin matrices and the uh, Necromic parts and, and the whatnots. Uh, what it doesn't show you is that there are actually more levels to the Isolation Vault now. If you choose this and you go out and you do the Isolation Vault, after you have completed them, uh, you can talk to Mother in the field. She will offer Stage 2 of the Isolation Vault and Stage 3 of the Isolation Vault, just like before. But if you have completed, for example, tier 2 of the isolation vault and you talk to that mother again she will now offer a new isolation vault that wasn't there before and uh, so there are three new vaults that you can access through this method and they will give you uh, more stuff they will give you um, the blueprints uh, the blueprints and component parts for two new infested weapons the uh, Sporothrix, which is an infested sniper rifle. And the Arum Spinoza, which is uh, an infested war fan, which looks vile. It looks absolutely disgusting. Um, so yeah, that's how you get those. I figured I would drop this little bit of information since uh, just being here in Necrolisk and uh, looking at her... Uh, range of normal bounties, you won't even see them. You wouldn't even know that they were here. Um, but that's but that's where they are. And finally, for the new weapons in Demos Arcana, why it's very simple. You just you just you just buy them from from the market. So you can see the Proboscis Cernos here. Yeah, it says 
it says uh, platinum, but if you actually go here, you can see that you can buy the blueprint for the weapon for 30,000 credits. As you will note, you actually have to have a Mutalist Cernos as a uh, crafting component for making this weapon. So, you know, get, get cracking on that one if you don't already have that. And then there is the Pulmonars, which is a Nunchaku, or a Ninkondi as they're called in, in, in this one. Uh, also requires some of the uh, new uh, Deimos crafting components. There are, uh, for example, some, some new fishies. There's some new fishies you can fish. So yeah, that's how, you, that's how you get those. And finally... There is a revamped system in place right now for how to farm Steel Essence. And that we're gonna dedicate a whole video of itself to. And that's coming up next. Stand by while I analyze the intelligence profiles of the Grenier. Error, not a number. Did the operator enjoy this witticism? <laughs>